I once heard a man howl about the streets of Laredo, bellowing out the, about the festering cesspool of the malign malformities that infest them. Horrible, ugly things like despair, losing yourself in the existential shit we call life. And see, it's not that uncommon of a trope for me to hear people these days, uh, Laredo sucks, there's nothing to do. I can't wait to leave, Laredo's so boring. I hate Laredo. And you know, it's funny, because my old man used to tell me that only the boring can get bored. So if you're getting bored in this town, I think you're doing something wrong. Because honestly, Laredo's one of my favorite places on the planet, and I've been around. So on the streets of Laredo that I was driving down Del Mar, and I experienced road rage and all of its unholy glory in true George Lopez fashion. Oh yeah, get chingas tienes pinche cabrona, where café? Vete la verga, wey! And I just went. <laughs> it was the streets of Laredo that taught me who my camaradas and my carnales were, regardless of whether I'm a huerito or not. It's on the streets of Laredo that a true connoisseur can dine on some of the best damn taquerias this side of the border and taco madre. Here's my free advertising. It was on the streets of Laredo that I once stared at a moonlit sky and had the nerve to scream up in God and ask why. It was running down Clark that I lost my mind in sheer emotional release, only to recover thanks to laying in this cold street. On the streets of Laredo, you can find anything if you know where to look, good or bad. You can become closer to nature in North Central Park, you know, before they burn the motherfucker down. You can see the evolution of city's rich history by taking a drive downtown. Just keep your windows up, folks. It's a little dicey out there sometimes. You can chase various taqueros and paleteros through the ghettos and end out with a tasty summer treat, because god damn, do we need it in this heat. Seriously, there is nothing more scalding than the streets of Laredo. Alternatively, you can buy some of the best cannabis this side of the border walking to the corner store, although that's what I've heard because self-incrimination is kind of a bitch. The streets of any city can be an unforgiving place. The trap house life can take you for a ride that you're not ready for if you let it, and the streets are the doorway into that world. The world isn't puppy dogs and baby videos, and Laredo is no different. But I'm willing to bet that the people blaming Laredo for that just don't want to put the effort into it. Because it's on the streets of Laredo that I've seen people grow from zero to hero, and some of those guys were some real fucking weirdos. It was on the streets of Laredo that I met my best friends, and 15 years later, they still walk these streets with me. The streets of Laredo have laws by which we must abide, and it's on these streets that this dude does reside. On the streets of Laredo, I was born and raised, and it's on these streets that I just might sit there. Porque yo soy güerito, yo soy tejano, y yo soy un caballero de las calles. Pero lo que es más importante, yo soy de la pinche Laredo, hombre. And I wouldn't want to be from anywhere else. So if you have something bad to say about my hometown, it's in the streets of Laredo that we dare to say, chinga tu putisima madre, wey. 